Hey y'all, welcome back to another video here with me, Rich on Rich Aesthetic. And this is an aesthetic shortcuts video as we're gonna look at pretty much all the shortcuts that my iPhone runs daily. And by my iPhone runs, I do mean they are automated. They sometimes require input from me, but that's only after they have run. And the input they require is for good reason. So let's jump in and take a close look. I've been working on a project to take a selfie every day for the last few years. Now, I've not been perfect taking them every day. My average per year is like 220 or so right now, but that's not bad. And once I do hit a thousand selfies, I will make the first version of this video, but I will keep going. And at some point I'll do it at 5,000 and 10,000. You, you get the point, right? But what the selfie does is when I disconnect from my home Wi-Fi, I'll get a notification that of course I'll have to tap on that allows me to take the selfie. Now it does show me the most recent selfie I took just because you know you want to add some motion into these selfie everyday videos. So I need to know what I did the day before so I can continue building on that action. Now, the reason I do it when I leave the house is because one, I can't be bothered to you know set up the light and, or stand in front of the window at home and try to get it right. And outside is just nicer. You get to see the, the seasons change behind me throughout the year. I think that's kind of cool. And I, I pretty much always leave my house in the morning, at least during the week. So it's going to guarantee five well-lit photos where I get that daylight, right? and you get the environment outside. On the weekend, it's a little bit harder. Of course, if I don't leave my house, I won't get the notification. Now, it's got some pretty cool features in it because you might be thinking like, what if you leave your house five times a day? Are you gonna take five selfies that day? Well, no, because I set a variable in this app called Data Jar. It's very good at housing, you know, quick little variables, things like that. That pretty much will say the selfie has already been took, if I get past the step of taking the selfie and it saves it, then it'll set that to a one. So then if I do leave my house again or disconnect from my Wi-Fi again, it'll stop running the shortcut because it's already been run that day. And the last thing it does is in the app called Chronicling, which I believe is new in 2024, which just a you know track everything kind of app, it'll set an event to one for my selfie every day. And that's how I'm able to give you the statistics such as like my average for how many selfies I've taken in a year and things like this, which is kind of cool, it's fun, definitely over the top. By the way, all the shortcuts I do mention will be down in the description. They've not been set up with like input questions. So you're gonna have to look at them a little bit. But if you want me to do a video going more in depth on actually how I created the shortcut, let me know. Besides that, comment if you need help setting it up. I'm very active in the comments. I don't think there's a single comment on my channel that hasn't been responded to. All right, next one. We need to reset these variables so that way the shortcuts are able to run the next day, right? So that's a very simple one. Every night at midnight or something like that, it'll reset any variables that are checked for running some of these shortcuts and reset them to a zero. Zero meaning false. So that way my shortcuts are able to run again the next day. Next up, what about when you get onto the subway station and you want to be presented with the correct apps? Well, there's a shortcut for that too. When I pay with my subway transit card, it'll turn on my commuting focus. And this is what my commuting focus looks like. You can see I have the books app, I have my language studying apps, quick access. One, it kind of helps me remember like this is what I wanna be doing. So that way I don't get sucked into any rabbit holes when I'm on my one hour commute to work. My commuting focus also turns noise cancellation on on my AirPods, which is awesome. However, if I'm not wearing them, obviously that action wouldn't work. So if I'm in my commuting focus, there's a, sorry, there's another automation that pretty much checks if I'm in my commuting focus when they connect to my AirPods. And at that point, it would turn on the noise cancellation. Now, the thing is, if you use the like automatic switching, I don't think it works in that way. You have to manually connect to the AirPods for the automation trigger to work. Now, I would love to know if it is working for you and you don't have to do that because maybe I'm doing something wrong. So leave a comment down below if that is the case. When I leave the subway, again, paying to get out or actually finalizing that payment to get out. And it'll run another shortcut, which then will turn transparency mode on. 
my headphones, as well as go back into my personal focus mode. Now, this is very important because my personal focus mode home screen has quick access to scanning with a WeChat, Chinese app, which allows me to unlock the public transportation like bike sharing feature. So if my commuting focus is on, since when I'm on the subway, that's not something I would need. I don't have that on my lock screen. So that is a pretty important shortcut that needs to run. Now, I've already made a lot of videos about VPNs, given that I live in China. So I'm going to just put down a link to my most recent Ultimate VPN automation video. But pretty much when I open up some of my Western apps, the VPN will turn on. And when I go into some of my Chinese apps, if my VPN is on, it will turn them off. Super quick and super handy shortcut. I need the VPN to turn on so that way I can guarantee my shows are downloaded because they don't always download in the background. Again, if the VPN's not on. But when I'm out and about, I don't want the VPN turning on randomly because it can really mess stuff up. You know, if I'm on the subway trying to pay for something and I didn't realize the VPN's on when it shouldn't be on and then it takes a second for it to turn off, but then it's just like waiting for the internet, net, like the network to get connected and stuff. You know what I mean? So when I'm out and about, when I'm opening up the podcast app, it's pretty much just like a lottery. Hopefully those shows have downloaded because I usually do open up my podcast app after I wake up. But if they haven't, you know, so be it. I'll listen to a different show that has downloaded. Oh, my point being the VPN didn't turn on when I'm out and about for the podcast app specifically. Here's one where the situation itself might be unique to my situation, but I think this could help others with like similar type of, you know, internet, Wi-Fi things going on. So when I leave my, my school, because, you know, the campus is pretty big, you know, Wi-Fi routers all over the place. When I actually leave the gate, I'm still connected. And the problem is sometimes that connection isn't very strong. In fact, most of the time it's not. But the whole like smart switching to, you know, cellular versus Wi-Fi, that is just, you, you guys know, it doesn't work. So automatically my work focus turns off at uh, like 1720 meaning my personal focus mode would turn on. And when the work focus mode turns off at that time, it'll also turn off Wi-Fi. I don't need it. I'm about to leave the school anyways. So I get on the data and that allows me to scan the bike sharing thing, again, for my personal focus mode with the QR code scanning shortcut, right? It allows me to scan that and quickly get into the little mini program on WeChat to unlock the bike without having to deal with any like internet problems, which is... It is awesome. I didn't even realize how annoying it was that that was happening until I turned on this automation. I was like, wow, I didn't have to wait around for an extra 30 seconds to a minute sometimes just to get it to load. Now, when I get back to the subway station, that whole focus mode thing switching that I was telling you about earlier, that'll actually turn the Wi-Fi back on. So then when by the time I get home and I'm, of course, in my personal focus mode at that point, the Wi-Fi will be working. And it, like I, it, I literally don't notice that the Wi-Fi was ever turned off. It's just so that I can unlock that bike there and it takes care of turning it back on and getting my phone functioning as normal by the time I'm Now, here's another one. Um, automation triggered by battery percentage. When my iPhone drops below 15%, if I'm not at home, it'll turn low power mode on automatically. And when my phone goes below 10%, I get a reminder. And because reminders is synced via iCloud, so it's pushed to all my devices, telling me that my iPhone needs to be charged. Really handy when, you know, your iPhone's in another room, I'm working on my Mac, and then suddenly I get a reminder like, hey, your iPhone needs to be charged. Like, oh, shit. All right, cool. Now, that same system can be built with something like PushCut, but iCloud reminders is free. Now I go to grab my iPhone, I plug it in or put it on my MagSafe charger. It automatically will mark that reminder as completed, which removes it from all my devices. That's super cool. Now, if my phone is in low power mode, when I put it on the charger, it will turn off low power mode. But if I'm not at home, it will leave low power mode on if my iPhone is below 40%. Then a separate automation will turn low power mode off once my phone goes above 50%. Those percentages are arbitrary. Just thought they were kind of good regarding like my situation of like how long the battery life lasts and stuff like that. Those have always worked for me and I'll probably keep running with them as long as my commute time is about an hour. 
Now, some other automations that used to run daily is when my um, phone alarm turns on, my whole house will go crazy. You know, lights turn on, home pods will start playing loud music and whatnot. But <laughs> any of you who live with a partner who doesn't really like that, probably not going to work for you. But that's an idea for you know those of you out there who want to play and you have some smart home devices. To come up with these automation ideas, think about things you do daily or things you want to do daily, but you're not able to. Like for me, the daily selfie, I my brain fucking sucks. I have goals, but unless I you know have them down on a to-do list, digital or written, in my case, digital is usually better, I will forget. So automating the whole process of taking the selfie. And by the way, I forgot to say this, it even saves it with the correct name and the number of the selfie that it is to the Finder app or iCloud files. You can see that here. It's, it's super slick. And the only thing I do is I take the selfie. That's it. So come up with those ideas and then look at the shortcuts app and then see if there's a way to do it. Whenever you're thinking about like, well, I only want it to happen when I'm in this situation, that's always going to be solved pretty much by an if action, right? If like the location is this, do this. Otherwise, do the other thing or don't do it at all. If the time is this, you know, so look at that. And then if you if you don't know past that, there's a lot of resources out there. ChatGPT is pretty freaking good. It actually knows quite a lot about Apple shortcuts. So if you don't know the way on how to do something, you can ask ChatGPT. It'll give you a really good starting point of like what actions to put and what to put into the parameters. If it gets something wrong, you can explain to it what you're seeing and it'll like change its answer to fit that new situation. It, that's a really good learning source. And besides that, always comment down below. And while you're down there commenting, consider liking and subscribing for more videos like this. I hope you enjoyed the video. And until the next one, Rich Aesthetic out. Peace.